Hey guys, Jeff Miller here. I'm going to show you a few simple steps to clean up your Facebook feed and remove items that you're tired of seeing. I followed these steps and as such, I really had a hard time making this video because I couldn't really do any screen captures because everything that's on my feed nowadays is stuff that I actually enjoy seeing. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's say that you've liked a page or you've got a friend that's constantly sharing material from another website or from another Facebook feed. If you'll look at the post in the upper right hand corner, there's a little pull down arrow. This pull down arrow actually opens up a menu and you have a couple of different options here. Your first option is to hide this post. If you hide that post, you're supposed to see fewer posts like that. Now, if you don't want to see anything from that friend or anything from that page that you like, you can actually unfollow that page. But you're going to stop seeing everything, everything that your friend posts, their selfies, pictures of their food, all that stuff. And everything from that page that you've liked, you're not going to see any of it. What I find is the most useful out of all the options is to hide all posts from whatever website or Facebook feed they shared it from. So if you hide this, not only does it hide it from this particular page or this particular friend's feed, but all of your other friends that are constantly sharing things from whatever site it is, you won't see it on their feeds either, but you'll continue to see the other information that they share on their Facebook posts. Now, as a last resort, you can always go to your friend's page. If you click on the friend pull down at the bottom, you're going to see a thing that actually says unfriend. Now, when you unfriend them, that's it. They're gone. They don't get to see any of your stuff. You don't get to see any of their stuff. They're completely off of your Facebook items. Now, another helpful thing is that sponsored or suggested posts can do the same thing. Again, here is a sponsored post that was on my Facebook feed. If for some reason I didn't want to see this in the upper right hand corner, you can see there's the same pull down arrow. If you were to click this pull down arrow, it gives you a menu as well. The first option you have is I don't want to see this to see fewer posts like this. So what happens is you click that. It should actually give you less advertisements of that nature or you can hide all ads from that website or that Facebook page. Uh, this means you'll see nothing from them. Another thing I want to comment on Facebook is it seems to me like less people are liking, commenting on sharing, not just on my page, but on all the pages that I take a look at. And, you know, I think people, myself included, have gotten in the habit of just constantly scrolling through Facebook. No one stops to like, no one stops to comment, and we don't share the good stuff. If you start sharing good posts on other people's pages, that means that it's going to show up in other people's feeds. And if they start doing it, your feed will actually get better from the posts that they shared. So hopefully you guys have liked this video. Hopefully it'll clean up your Facebook feed. And if so, please don't forget to like the video. And of course, I'd love for you to subscribe to my page for future updates. All right. See you guys.